So the scouts are a way to weed out as well. Oh my God, the scouts are also a way to weed out the dissidents that would be like, yeah, let's go out because they know the Titans would kill them down the line. And now that Eren said it changes. Oh man, so good. Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Watch Attack on Titan Blind. Today we're at episode three of season three. And uh, we got the revelation last time that Historia is the princess or throne heir or whatever. And what I forgot last time was that when I tried to remember what kings we had in the story, we also had the king's bloodline with Emir's backstory. So I think the other side has a king as well. So let's see where that goes. Um, and uh, yeah, I will not store the story is called Old Story. Uh, the episode is called Old Story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment and uh, early access is of course on Patreon as always. And um, yeah, we'll just see where this goes and uh, what horrid horrors we will face today. At the moment, it's only horrid horrors between humans. So let's see where it goes. Doch ich frag, ich frag mich, wer wir sind. Yes, you were. Oh, you were raised on the Rice family's land. Wow, that's such a pleasant life. Hmm. So, first of all, if I wanted to raise a child to be a good person, I would probably raise the child on the farm. I don't know why, it just came to my mind. My 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 uncle had, had a farm. The like he's retired now, but he had a farm. And I don't know, for me it was, I always loved like the idea of farm work, like doing it. I know it's very, very hard work, but every day you get back to your, um, to your family in the house, um, you did something. And you did some very basic work that's hard, but that's, very rewarding. Of course, if um, there is no like plague or like rot or something in your crop or some shit. But um, and for me, the farm was always a very idyllic idea. Like it's almost like a prototypical idea of of, of bliss. And it's not because it's so so um, so easy the life, but it's like a very. I don't know, it's a beautiful way of living, I think. And I know nowadays, and it's unfortunately a really, really recent topic, at least here in Germany, and I think in, in the Netherlands as well, and in other countries, that farmers are being shed on so badly right now. And that's so dangerous, I think. It's not only dangerous because, of course, they produce our food, but I think the um, forgetting the importance of farmers is is weirdly enough a very, 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 very dangerous thing. That's also, by the way, how the communists um, started their, um, their famine. They didn't value their farmers. And they, they were even worse. Like, the communists did it worse. They, they took the farmers that were very competent and also had good land, but... Um, they went to the farmers that were very competent and they were, told them, hey, you took this good land away from us and you are robbing us of our thing and uh, what you produce should be for everyone. And uh, like you are your high and mighty assholes. Uh, we take your land. So they took their land, killed them and their families and put in people who were in the parties very high up so they got the land of course because that's how you mostly have it in communism it's not that uh, like many people like the idea but in the end it's corrupt assholes at the top that own everything as it is of course with capitalism a bit but at least in capitalism you don't starve to death most of the time um anyway um and it's and, and of course everyone just died because no one like, they didn't know how to farm so thinking you can farm is like, yeah, come on, mate. You should have never done it. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's like, currently it's very dangerous. The farm and the, the farmer's work, which is 
one of the first things of real work or the first real job other than a hunter you had, I guess. Perhaps that's wrong, but I, at least from what I know. So, like, it's also a very, very um, terrible um, attack on, on the roots of culture. And not any, like not just Western culture, any culture. Like, you attack the roots of your culture with disregarding farmers. And, and yeah, so I'm very glad that, at least in my country, most people stand behind them and they are the protests. But what do I know? I, I might not know things. And... Uh, uh, I don't know. But yeah, and then she reads a book. She's just reading book. She's not doing housework. So she's educated and she's trying to get more educated. And she enjoys reading. Um, so they probably have a mate. Or it is Krista's job. And can Krista read here? I don't know. Yeah, it's just a ruse for her. Yeah, see, she read. That's very educated. Oh. That's so weird. Why would she only have those stories? Weird. That's so weird. Oh no. That's gonna probably turn horrid. Okay, that woman is the biggest cunt I've ever seen on the fucking face of the planet, and I hope she fucking dies. Because, okay, so that's dangerous, and it might just me being a parent now, but what that fucking cunt of a fuckface asshole woman did, um, and as I said, I hope she rots in hell, um, that's unforgivable. Like, a child that you put into a farm and you ignore and if the child tries to be friendly with you because of books you read, um, yeah, go fuck yourself. Just go fuck yourself. Like, the damage this, this does to Krista. Like, now we know why she's the way she's... Like, why she is like that? Why she thinks she's not worth? Because her mother was a fucking cunt and a whore. She was probably literally a whore because she got whoring every fucking night. And I don't care if she had her reasons. Like, for this, you can't have a reason. If she's really her mother, you can't have a reason for this. Sorry. Fuck you. Yeah, and she doesn't understand it. Yeah, fucked up shit. Irresponsible cunt. That as well, and that is in, I think in nowadays times, this is something very controversial, unfortunately, to say, but if you, if you fuck with someone, like, use protection if you can, and if you don't want a child. Jesus fucking Christ, you dumb shit. Perhaps they don't have it here. I mean, what are they, 18th century, 17th century? I mean, it's harder here. But man, like, take responsibility, you fucking cow cunt face. Oh, great, yeah. Why do you, how do you know she's your mother? I don't care what her problem was. I, I really don't. And what was your problem? At least she talks to her. Okay, so what I currently think happened. So the Lord... Perhaps she even seduced him because I don't know if she did. Nah, I'm not gonna assume that. So they say so they fucked around uh, sh without protection, obviously. So they got Krista, Historia, and he 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 couldn't like he he couldn't raise the child, of course, probably because it was an illegitimate uh, illegitimate. You know what, child? So it's a problem for him, and he was like, "Yeah, I have to hide the child away," which is okay, whatever. They did that, I think, in these times, and the mother was like, but no, I can't, but but I was used to fucking people. I was used to fucking people and eating good and wearing fancy clothes and be with people. And now I have to be with my child here for the day because that's what mothers do. And perhaps even the man wanted that. I don't know. She might have, like, like why would she go to Krista in the first place? Does she have a shred of responsibility? 
I didn't think she has because she wants to kill her. Like that. Saying that to your child, I mean, Krista was too young probably to understand, but her soul understood, and that's why she turned out the way she was. But yeah, and now he's like, so we have to move. What are we going to do to you? And he at least is polite to her and speaks to her. I think there are even studies on uh, children. If you if you have a child and uh, no one talks to it, like if you just feed it and uh, but not give them love, they die. Um, I think it was a Russian study, actually. They, they were heavily criticized because, of course, that's immoral to let children die. Like, they did it with real babies, I think. Like, they, they took babies and they just fed them and didn't cuddle them and they died. So someone must have cuddled Krista, probably, at least. Perhaps a maid. Oh, because her good life is at stake? I don't know. Why did he decide that, though? Why does he know something about that? Lord Rice, could you please say no, this is her mother, so she gets probably shot in the head? That's a bit harsh. But I hope she gets diarrhea, diarrhea for like at least a week. Oh, he betrayed them as well. Okay, so he wanted... Interesting, so there's like this, this secret, whatever, probably military police. I don't know if this is a Kenny. I, I don't think he is. But um, like it's obviously people that want to kill them. And... He probably really wanted to get Historia out, and but here he was like, no, I'm not going to risk that. Go fuck yourself, like to those people. But because he held Krista's hand, that's an act of love, I think. Even if it's just like, and and in the in the future, like in the now, we also have him say sorry. So I think he might be at least a bit true here, even though he's fucking coward asshole as well. They hope he's shit, but yeah. Yep. Are you gonna kill the mother in front of her sister? See? What a fucking cunt. If we don't get more backstory in her, that's like, that's an evil character. I think that is evil what she does. Because, like, it is evil in the way that she um, goes against nature, like, against the fundamental. Um, 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 biological truth of motherly love, so to speak. Like, yes, of course, it's not always there. And we have, we even have the syndrome of, I don't know what it's called, that um, if you have a child, you suddenly don't feel connected to the child and you try to kill the child. It's a syndrome that happens. And in, in hospitals, I think they have to be careful of that sometimes because sometimes mothers just try to fucking kill their newborn child children. And I, I, uh, yeah, I, I learned that before my children were born, so I was very afraid. But um, like, not, not with reasons, but like because I knew it existed. I was like, oh god, if if there's some biological shittery in me or my wife, or I don't know, like you can't do anything against it then. But this woman was to me is just an irresponsible cow that doesn't own up to her own actions, and. Uh, because she still dresses like this, like she would wants, she wants everything and uh, doesn't care for her own fucking child. And now she's lying dead in the in the mud, which I'm so sad. And you traumatized that little child. See, the father did think of the child. The father is also an asshole because a bit like because he obviously like told them the child's not mine. That's also like, I mean, he basically did what actually Nami's mother should have done in the One Piece live action. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a hard thing. Like denying your children's also like very, very, very dangerous evil stuff in a way. And he's a coward as well, but at least he tries to save his child, which the woman did not. Like the mother didn't. Yep, so we will just assume the mother had the weird syndrome I talked about and wasn't a terrible cow cunt. She was just a cunt. So, um, yeah. Yeah, he, he saved his child. 
I don't know how much agency he had in uh, these people because they seem to be more powerful than him and they might be sent by the king and the king might think he's threatened. And perhaps the deal was that this dude was not to procreate and he did, so I don't know. What is the book she's reading? So let's see. Yes, he's probably right, because if he had been like, yeah, that's my child, they both would have been killed. Uh, she's special because she's your daughter, you dipshit. Why? What? Uh, what? That's good. I want the place where all began. Give me lore. That's brilliant, brilliant stuff. Of course we cut away though. Um, yeah, so I guess... I still don't know the, the background, but the mother was, man, the way she was portrayed, they really wanted me to dislike her, right? What an unforgivable person. Like, poor, poor Christa. That's like... And she must have been very young there, so like, it completely fucked her head. I'm glad she found Emir. Oh, he's gonna kill him. Very nice. Um. Haha, -ha, you were trolled by Hanya. Haha. -ha. Why do you care for the king so much? What has he done to you? I mean, you, you basically had the job to basically kill everyone who was against the king. Or was for venturing outside, really? Like, I guess the scouts are controlled people, so... Wow, what a badass ice cold line. That's so good. Wow, Anya, let's go. Yeah. So who's next in line? What? What are you talking about? Oh. He might feel at peace now that it's over. That's weird, but I can see that. So he's basically saying like, hey, I will just be replaced. Oh, yeah. There <laughs> was a cockroach there. Yeah. Ethan will be eaten. Why? Yeah, we know that. And she got consciousness because she ate Marcella. Yeah, I think we know that. Yes, that's true. They obtain the power of those they eat. What does that mean? Yes, that's true. Oh, okay, now he's in sensory deprivation to not hurt himself. I guess. So he can't bite off his tongue. Brilliant. But can't he just like scratch a bit or something? I don't know. But yeah, it probably has to be real pain. Um. Because the pain will, like, the, the adrenaline will then activate the triton process or something. Okay, so it's the power. So, okay, so if they eat Aaron, like, if another stupid titan, like, if they feed Aaron to a titan, the titan will turn back into a human and have the core in it. I see, I see, okay. Because they didn't like Aaron having it. Yeah, okay, so the government also could do another Aaron. Okay, so they're gonna attack Rice now. But why is the Reis family like not control? Like, it's so weird. I don't get that part. Like, the Reis family seems to be the bloodline, but they're not in power, and some people are threatening them. Like, why? What? 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 What power does the Reis uh, uh, bloodline have? Like, why is it even remotely interesting? 
Uh, is it just because people know that they're royalty that that might threaten the king or something? Or is it Titan related? Ooh, Pixis is gonna talk to Erwin. Why? Ooh, so he asked both Nila and Pixis, so all the commanders will perhaps move on their own now with all the legions. So we might have insurrection or something. Yeah. See? He knew what? What does that mean, mate? He knew? Okay. What? Oh, okay, why not? So, in so, like, Evan might be able to do it, but to be fair, that's what they always say. Like, yeah, yeah, it will, it will go down fine, no one's gonna die, and then, like, it turns into a shit show because some stupid thing happens. Like, one, one tiny spark just has to ignite it. Yeah. But you can't just replace all your leaders. Okay, Evan's childhood story, why not? Well played! So it was the teacher that got gobbled up by the military police. Information available for public disclosure. Intelligent Titans with power to transform. An intelligent Titan is conceived when a pure Titan lacking intelligence consumes some other intelligent Titan. Okay, so it's basically what we just figured out. Oh, that was probably the corpse of... Uh, Sewa? The reefs of reefs, yeah. Oh. But why? Why? Why is it a fraud to protect whom? Everyone, the the false family, to make the real royal family suffer? Oh, they want to install her as the queen? But why is that so important? Yeah, mate, like, why would anyone be like, yeah, that's probably true that Historia is the, is the true heir, like... But how far does the lie stretch? Yeah, Evan has to be saved first. One curious incident. Are they going to pin reefs on him? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> So the interior squad is like this shady squad, I guess, yeah. What? Yes, that's gonna be cool. Let's go. Is he gonna die though? He might die. They might kill him. Why are there three deaths? That's true, yeah. Yes, that would be that that sounds reasonable, yeah, yeah. Um Why are you still like you now you now have at least one human titan and you've got four human titans that are or three? No, four human titans that are against you. Why would you use Eren in battle? Like I know they like the the background reason is they want him to get eaten and take another one they can control better, but yeah. Okay, so they have something like you always have to put humanity above you. Which is exactly like in Germany we have exactly the opposite. If your life is in danger, you don't have to help someone if like like let, let's say someone's drowning, you have to help them. But if you would drown as well, you don't need to help them. You know? So like your own life is always should, can is always allowed to be priority in uh, danger. But his son is still alive, that's good. And so they just take away the scouts, okay. Okay, so it was him. Okay, so it was him. 
So it was Kenny in the past with Historia. Weird. So how did he raise Levi? That was about the time when he raised Levi. Like, how did that happen? What is he gonna do here? Oh, why is he telling her that? Yeah, he changed. I love that. Oh, oh yes, that's so good. <laughs> that's cool, and the people saw it. Like, he's riding the people. That's so cool. Yeah. See, it was him. I knew it. Um... So what's the history? And yeah, because that history is probably false. We know that now. So because like it's not allowed to look up the real, real history from 100 years ago, I guess. I thought they were erased. I thought they said that. <laughs> Young Evan, that's so cool. What was the question? Or perhaps it wasn't the same teacher. Yeah, they're living in a police state. I I like that um, that it is brought up more because it was brought up in episode one, I think, or two, and I didn't dive into it because it was not this not at all the focus, but it was fishy. So they are basically living in a lie. Like not even not like like a complete lie. Like they're caged in the lie too. Um, like they're all being so to speak brainwashed with false information and fake news. By the way, I have heard the government can uh, also give away false information. Does that more often recently at uh, in Germany as well? Um, which is unfortunate because it gives people ammunition that you might not want to have ammunition as well. So. But, um, yeah, dyke. That's very bad. And these things, they will always get out in the end. Might take some time that these lies, they always, almost always get out, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, yep. That's what happens. You suddenly have an accident. And they just take you, like... They will just come and take you one day. There is a very interesting uh, book. Uh, it's a series of books, actually, I think. Uh, Archipel Gulag, where they, like, in the first book is when the communists in Russia came to power. They just took people. Like they, like every night, they, there are rep well, many, many witness reports by people, and like they, they came, they, like at night, and and then the the police just came and just took some people away. No one protested because they were the enemy, of course. And one day you're the enemy. It was actually uh, because the book is written with some uh, dry sense of humor, so they were all sent to camps, and uh, the people that were still. But but I'm for the government. They they took the wrong person. They took the wrong person. And like uh, uh, the way it's written in this book, and I keep it like it's like they were laughing their ass off about these people because they were so deep entrenched into this the the lie of the government. So yeah, sad stuff. Like yeah, of course he was, man. Yes. I knew it was from the king. Yeah. Yeah, to control the people. I knew it. It was to fucking control the people. Yes, I was right. So it might not have been like completely malevolent, like the Titans might have like cornered them in and they built it, but yeah. Control the people. Like it's a, like it's a police control state. Interesting, yeah. Like the hints have been cropping up more and more. So it was that. Oh man, I caught it! I caught it! Technically, I think. Yeah. I will talk about his. Guilt now, Paul, that he like, guilt that he obviously now has, but 
I called it. I called it. At least I called that the king wanted to put, like put them in. And like, oh man, I'm so happy. Like it wasn't exactly what I thought, but I was so close. Ha! I love these these moments of clarity. Yeah, man. I was so close. Like I, I count that as I called that. Like, I didn't directly call, but I count that. Oh, sorry, also Erwin, man, he killed his father in his head, probably. And that's why he always, what, like, that's why, that's why he wanted to lead the scouts outside, because he thought outside would get, uh, get, get more answers and stuff. And he wanted to be in a position where he could change it, perhaps. And he's trying to do that now. So he played the long game because he was like, okay, I'm just going to sit back, you fucking cunts, and I'm going to... I'm gonna see when you make your mistakes and when I have enough information to throw you down into the dust. Yeah, man, love it. Yeah, and that is why also Levi thinks he knows more because he does know more. Oh, we are at the, yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, the Xena people, of course, they well, they feel threatened. Oh, that as well. It is a move by the by the king side, disbanding the scouts. Because I, as I said, I think the scouts are some kind of controlled opposition. Then, like they let them out, but they know they are all gonna die, and they can't have Eren be the hope now. Can't. Um, very interesting stuff. And now they have a reason to disband the scouts, probably finally after 100 years. So they probably let the scouts exist 100 years ago because they were obviously people who were like, we want to go out again. Um, but uh, and then they put them into the scouts. They were just killed and by like, they never got old. I mean, Pixis got pretty old, but like the scouts, they never got old. So the scouts are a way to weed out as well. Oh my god! The scouts are also a way to weed out the dissidents that would be like, yeah, let's go out because they know the times would kill them down the line. And now that Eren said it changes. Oh man, so good. And so brilliant. Man, the scouts are there to kill the people that want to go out. Holy shit, I think it's that. It's only implied here, but that's pretty reasonable, I think. Holy shit. Man, what a machination the city is there and like the within the walls is such a death machine. It is a, like the ultimate police date and they don't know because they think the Titans are the bad thing. So who's gonna appear? There's gonna be a cliffhanger coming, I feel. Okay, so they're surrounded. Possibly surrounded. Perhaps that's Hanya. Ooh, a flower. That's a very happy song. Anyway, what are these episodes? These are so dense. I love them. Man, they're fucking good. I feel I'm not that good at analyzing political intrigue situations than that because I, I'm, I think I'm a bit slow currently with some stuff. So sorry for that, but... I love the writing in it. It became like some things finally click and click. I still have no fucking clue why there is a faking. I mean, I guess so. It is just the the faking wants to stay the faking, and uh, he probably banished the previous king. So that might be it. So before the walls were created, there was a king, and he was like banished. Why wasn't he killed? We might find out. But yeah. Anyway, and still, I think Historia's mother can go eat shit. And, um, yeah, also Erwin backstory, I love it. It might not have been the same teachers in the flashback uh, where also Armin's parents were shown. I, I am going to assume they're Armin's parents because, like, who, who else would try to create a balloon? But, yeah, the scouts are controlled opposition or their method to kill them. Wow, that's so fucked up. And, it like... If you think it a bit further, this idea, it means that they always had probably in, they probably always had plans to uh, dispose of the scout leader if they did, like if the, that scout leader was weird. And it's good that Pixis, uh, and Pixis played neutral. I think he said that and he was there for probably 50 or 40 years. So he played neutral and they like, they didn't think Pixis would be here with them. And Nila was with Erwin as well and he might have shut up as well. 
and uh, he might be on Erwin's side as well. So they they um, they felt too safe here. I think I think they will make it somehow, hopefully. But anyway, so now we have to save Erin again, as we have every season. I mean, <laughs> since I think so, since episode forty, no, this is episode twenty or something. We've been always trying to save Erin, so to speak, from things. I, I feel. <laughs> it's so funny anyway. Hope you have a great day and tell me what you thought about Krista's mother especially and uh, like if there's more information about her in the future but currently she's the worst thing in the show like person-wise like what, an, what a cow. Um, one of the most unlikable people ever in this show. Like I don't think I've disliked anyone more than her by a mile so um and I, I think what she does is inexcusable, even if she has her reasons or whatever. I didn't, I didn't really care. I don't care. Don't care. Anyway, see you uh, around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I think I said that. But uh, yeah, see you around. Bye. Also, if you want to support my horror content, check out volume one of my horror series called Remnants of the Old Truth, which is available for free as an audiobook on Vidith 22s horror channel. Link is pinned in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and take care.